Go. We are at Perspectives um, Charter School, Calumet Campus, and one thing that we are mo mostly concerned about are the security guards. All right, so now we have to school, and we and it's most likely that's going to be a lot of fights jumping out, and it's not going to be as many people that can try to break up the fights. Mr. Maxwell. Okay, and some things I want to ask you, Mr. Maxwell, is how do you feel the experience is working here? For the most part, it's pretty good. The students are all pretty good for the most part. Um, everyone's kind of taken to me. I'm relatively new, but everyone's taken to me pretty nice. Um, other than that, I don't have any problems with anyone. For the most part, everyone's pretty cordial, respectful, scholars. Okay, if you had an opportunity to change anything, what are some things that you would change? The student interactions with each other. Because a lot of things happen because of certain words that are being said and certain phrases. And people not, for the most part, respecting themselves and other people. Do you like working here? Yes, it's actually great for me. I'm a college student, so this is a social experience for me. Okay, thank you. Okay. One of the things that we are, another thing that we are really um, concerned about are about the say security guards, but most of the times they really yell at you or they yell at the students a lot, and I really don't believe that that's the right thing to do. Uh, I mean, I guess. I mean, they're security guys, but like they're not teachers, so they don't have the right to yell at us. When they yell at us, students go, "You're not my mom, you're not my dad, or my teacher." So usually, when that happens, that just builds up a conflict between the security guy and the teacher, or the security guy and the student, and that is part of the problem. I feel like some things we can change is the way the security guards interact with the students. I feel like they should talk to us with more respect, so that students are willing to give them more respect. Because as long as students feel that they're disrespecting them, they're going to do the same. So I feel like the security guys need to get better at communicating effectively with us, and we will do the same. Hello, my name is Michael Pryor, and we are currently looking at Ms. Yashua's math class. As you can see, they are working silently. And, um, uh, we might be distracting them right now. So, we just wanted to give you a quick peek of their class. Bye. Hello, my name is Michael Collier. And I'm Jeremy Coleman. And I'm Lisa Herman. <laughs> oh, I'm Lisa Herman. Can you start that over, please? I'm sorry. <laughs> Hello, my name is Michael Collier. I'm Jeremy Coleman. And I'm Mrs. Herman, our school one teacher. they feel good about because it's like, oh, okay, well then I know I can do this because I'm not a slow learner, but yet I just passed that school because I used to be the same way in school. So I'll be like, my, my school, um, I was in school to them, and so that's how they feel comfortable in the room. Okay. Yes, um, do you, okay, this kind of question, uh, when students misbehave, do you, do you like to I love my students. I love every, all of my students. Um, each one of them are 
different. So when they misbehave, I have to treat each individual child differently to that particular behavior. But then I do let them know that even though I'm reprimanding them, that I still love them and care about them. And I think that's why my management is well, because they know that when I do reprimand them, I still love them. As you just seen, we just got done interviewing Ms. Turlick, and some things that we liked about her interview was that she was um, she was very brief about how she made connections with her students and how it makes her scholarly class better, how it makes her better when working with her students, and those were some things that we liked about the school. That teachers, some teachers, well, most teachers can connect with their students and get an understanding of them to make things better and give them a safer and better environment in class. Um, that's, um, I like what Ms. Hudson said. Um, I'm not in her class, but when she's, I've been with her a few times, and she is a really good teacher. And it's a lot of teachers that just like her, and she really cares about her students. As all of her students can even say that. You, she really cares about you, and she knows how you feel because she's been in the same position as you. Um, I also like Miss Hurlis because, as she says, all of her students are very different from each other. And if she could adjust herself to get along with her, the students would be able to adjust herself to get along with them. And when she has a conflict with the students, she doesn't build it. She just solves it peacefully. <laughs>